Well, Thomas have friends. My name is Rebecca Kibibo, and on today's episode of Tuesday Suit Tutorials, we are going to be making a top hat that nicely fits on a doll's head quite simply. Now, I am going to make this for you guys today because I ha I don't have any tips on repainting yet, but I will do next week. So, enjoy this video and I hope you like it and I'll see you at the end. So, as you can see here, I'm going top down. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to adjust the camera a bit. There you go. So, we have this. You're going to need a few things. You're going to need... A little cup right about this size, um, the small KFC um, gravy pots would do just fine. Some cardboard, I'm using actually a pizza box for this. A pencil, quite simply, just to take your measurements. Two pairs of scissors, you're going to need a small pair for, for getting those little small details. And a big pair for trying to get into the um, trying to get to the plastic. You're also going to need some masking tape. Now, I that's not black. That is red. So as you can see, my black masking tape is not really in the best of the conditions. So I am going to use the following colours to just demonstrate of what you need to do. Red green and yellow so these three will coordinate of what part I am doing and so you can see how I actually make it better but if you want to you can just go for one color actually you know what I'm gonna go for one color I am gonna go for red and if I run out I'll go for yellow so you have your little ingredient so let's get started so first of all, you need to take your um, your bigger part, and you need and you need to put on a cardboard on your cardboard around this little rim here. So you have that big of a measurement. You need to do two of these. And then once you've done that, you can then start cutting around with these bigger scissors. So you can get that nice edge very quickly oh you're not actually seeing this I apologize so this is actually going to be our top piece so take this this is actually going to be what will go onto the top of our top hat to actually make it a flat topped top hat as you can see here that's what I've done here now it's to make this little rim bit here so what you need to do before that is you need to cut the bottom of your hat so what I did was to save time of videos I've already done it so you need to have a nice little hole Try and get everything so it'll go onto the page a lot smoother. Not the page, it'll go onto the um, cardboard a lot smoother and a lot nicer. So then you can take your second piece of cardboard and then place your bottom bit piece, which is your actual rim of your hat, and then you can draw around it, making making your circle bit So now what I did to prepare this little piece is I did a little I is I cut a little cross so then it's a lot easier to actually get in so this is where you're going to need your your more smaller scissors and uh, now scissors will do fine as long as they're metal because obviously cardboard is not fun to actually you know cut so what you do is you cut it into quarters and then you kind of gently lift it up and then go around and it should come out in these pieces 
Again, depending on the size of the head of your doll, depending on how big you actually make this. So, going around the last piece here. So now you have a clean cut. So now, when you put this, it should nicely go around the edge. So, now if we do this, you can see the top hat actually forming. So first of all, what we're going to do is go turn this upside down and put it actually, if you're doing using a pizza pot, you put it picture side up. If you're just using cardboard, you know, it doesn't really matter. So, now you get your uh, electrical tape. Did I say masking tape earlier? I mean, I meant electrical tape. Because the electrical tape is a lot more sterner, it can stretch a lot easier. So, put that over there. Take that little piece off. Now you can use a table if you don't want to use your table. A heavy cup is fine. I'm gonna use a shot glass for this. And then pretty much what I do is I will press down and then pull. You don't actually need this much. Trust me, you don't. Right. So I would say a piece about this big, which I would say about an inch. And you take this, you put it on your first thing, so put it down there. Now I put it in a straight line just yes, so I could nicely place and then stick. And then hold it over. And then you have your first thing. If you have any left, it's okay. You no, know, you can cut that off if you want to. Just to make it a little nice, more nicer looking. And then you do this for four of the directions, so if I am doing this in a, in a direction point of view, what I'll do is I'll go south, north, east, west. I think that's how it goes anyway. Wouldn't it be funny if Kim Kardashian's actual name was like west, or no, like east. So then you have Kanye West, um, East Kardashian, and then you have Northwest. Or, yeah, you have Northwest, and then when they have the second child, they can call it like East West. <laughs> so I, um, I apologize to all you guys who actually like keeping up with Kardashians. I personally don't, but that's a topic for another day. But. Trust me, you only need to do these four, and as you can see, with the top of it, it's quite steady. So, we'll do our last. Right, so, if you want to make this a lot smoother, as you can see, it kind of bubbles. What I do is I put two little sets into here, and then I just flatten it out. This will make it a little bit less sturdy, but it's where the fun comes in. So we should do that soon. I'm gonna actually doesn't need much cut. Right, so now you've got your bottom piece done. Now you need to stick your top piece on. So now, before I do that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap this whole entire um, top hat. So I'm gonna put it upside down. I'm gonna wrap this whole entire. You brim up the hat up and spiral it, covered in, red, so I'm going to put you up a little bit, into a nice spiral, so, yeah, so then A, it holds, and then B, you can go crazy with this. I like to pull on the electrical tape really, really tightly, so then I can get a nice smooth transition and you do this up to the base or either way from here on out you're not gonna actually see this bit because this is where the fun begins so I'm gonna cut it here there you go and then 
Ooh, flatten it. As you can see, the top has taken shape. Now, now time for a fun bit. So now, what you do is you do the same thing as you did with the bottom base, but instead of doing like an inch, you go as big as you want. No, as big as you feel comfortable. I like doing this. And just sticking it up. Because then what it does is it makes this little flat bit here, which is how you get this little effect here, which is actually how a top hat's meant to look. So, you do it. Oh, it's moved. There you go. And then you do it again. Nice and flat and stuff. So now, what you're thinking? Oh, look! It looks like the English flag. How convenient. Um. So now, what you're asking is, Kira or Kiwi, how do I fill in the rest of these gaps? Well, you just keep doing the same thing, but instead of going uh, down. Uh, vertically and horizontally you go diagonally like so this is the easiest way I know how because then it gets all these corners and then here see so now this should be sturdy but we want these whole things to be filled. So with a piece of masking tape, not masking tape, electrical tape. Oh shit. What you can do is you can go that way, filling in that piece. See, and then this side filling in this piece. So now you have the top of the top of the hat nearly done and you also have the sides. Okay, which is going to make a nice round shape, right? And then we just keep doing the same thing until, well, it's covered. All the sides and gaps are covered. Smooth it out when you can. Have another piece. Okay, and this normally takes at least like one, probably you only need one roll of electrical tape, depending on how thick your electrical, electrical tape is. Now, if you again, if you do get these little corner bits again, just snip it off. It's not going to affect the hat at all. Doesn't matter if it's too big or too. If it's like too small, that it's not covering these little holes. Obviously, that that that's a problem. But it doesn't matter if it's too big. If you get the base, that's no worries. You know that that can pretty much just help you, you know, with the with the rim of the hat. So now we have all of this topic covered. You think it before it was taking shape. Now you have your base of your hat. I roll it a little bit just to get everything stuck into its proper place so now as you can see you have your nice but what about this bit down here so now you turn it upside down and then instead of going what you did you pretty much go like that and then what I do is I actually save these off trimmings and you cut around it save these you're gonna need these And if you get like these, what you do is again you just trim it here and then take it. Done. Now you do this around the bottom rim. Just try not to make it too big, otherwise you're gonna waste like I just did here, is you're gonna waste the amount of electrical tape that you have available. 
a good cut around here. Again, if you save these, these will be great for actually helping you straight, like, you know, pretty much getting any bits that didn't exactly glue down. No. I'm putting that on my little thing here. As you can see, you know, a little step here, a little step there, a little taping here, a little taping there. I mean, you should be pretty much close to finish. The only thing that you would need to do is do that little top bit, actually. Splat and splat. Then the last little piece of tape, just to finish the whole hat off. And if you miss the little bits, that's fine. Now again, you have these little um, spares that you can use for, you know, actually taping the thing down. Like that, just cut off the axis. Now we're just gonna do over here, and then boom! Now the bottom of your rim is done. So now you need to do the outer rim. So when these guys come in, so what I normally do is I normally cut one of these in half, and you just stick it out. Stick it down, like so. This is where the axis comes in. And then this also helps you with the end finishing project or end finishing product. So if you don't want it to be this messy, you can always, you know, grab another a piece of tape. Shorten it down a bit, so you've got maybe like an inch, and then just place it down, and then just very slightly put it into place, like so. That will give you a more smoother finish, because it'll have a more messy finish, as you can see. See this one's a lot smoother than this little bit here. I don't know how I got tape in my mouth, but pfft. that's me, alright. Now you just keep on doing this. Ooh, if I don't get other pieces of tape done on me, and just smooth it down like so, and then you smooth it down on the base as well. And you just cut the axis tape off the rim, and then boom. Again, run roll of electrical tape will do you just fine. It will, it will do you actually multiple top hats if you want your second top hat to be multicolored. But yes, it does take a lot of tape, but at the end of the day, you have a cool hat out of it. And secondly, you know, it's not that, you know, it doesn't get expensive to get electrical tape, you know, it's, it's like I got a set for a pound at the pound store. Or yeah, you could know, get a few online. You know, either way, you'll be able to grab some at your local, you know, place where you get electrical tape. Now we're gonna clean this section up, which is your grand finale, and then move that down. Mm 
Let me just go over with my scissors just to make sure that everything is nice and flat. Like so. Use the back of anything as long as it will fit in the corner of your tablet. Like so. So, that's how you make a top hat that nicely fits your dolls. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I enjoyed making it and this was actually just like a little idea that I got from just you know being bored and looking at one of these and thinking wait a minute this can make a good top hat and so that's what I did you can make different color colors you can you know obviously make you can make a green one a yellow one any color yeah, that you want as long as it's in a form of you know electrical tape so, hope you guys enjoyed this video, I enjoyed making it, and I will see you guys in the next Johnny video. Ciao!